the car. We're always busy, busy. Isn't everyone? Honestly? I know. Seriously, you guys, it's been a very busy and hectic day today. today Getting stuff ready for the house. Yeah, today. Both our house and my mom's. Today has been a very busy day. Lots to do, lots to get done. Hence, we are opening up today's video again, you guys. I'm so sorry. I know. My late. Late PM. We could vlog what we're doing before, but it's literally just us sitting at the computer answering emails over and over. It's super boring. Yes, we're being on the super phone. Boring. Marking things off the to-do list, so it feels good. Yeah, and today's a perfect day to do it because it is pouring rain right now. Seriously, nothing well, cool to do. rain right now, but it is turning to snow. Look at that, you guys. As the temperature drop, it will turn to snow tonight. I want dinner tonight, you guys. I'm so excited to share this recipe. It's a salad. Now, before you get lost in salad, it does have chicken in it, it has grilled veggies, Ooh. it's a roasted veggies, I should say. Ooh. My sister Michelle made this. I mentioned this earlier in a vlog, and a lot of you said, give us the recipe. So my sister made this one out in New York, and it is to die for. She also made it for us on our girls' trip in Florida when they came to visit me. So anyways, making that tonight, we will share the recipe with all of you. Also, you guys, we have been reading some of your comments from yesterday's video. And yes. thank you, yes. first of all, for all your feedback on the handles for our kitchen cabinets. A ton of you said that the light wood, it'll wear, it'll show, it'll get stained with like oils from your hands. Yeah. And that is so true, I never even thought about we that. We never thought about that, so thanks to you guys, we know that now. Yes, thank you, thank you. Okay, you guys, we are in Harmon's right now, which if you are from Utah, you probably know Harmon's. It is our favorite grocery store. We miss it so much. Oh, before. yeah. However, the main ingredient for the salad, if you're going to make it, <laughs> is tahini paste. Ooh, guys, we have like scoured the store for this very thing. And I have never actually bought tahini, and I had no idea. I was looking by the spices, I was looking by like <laughs> Asian food, different foods. It's actually, at least in this store, it's located by the peanut butters. Who would have guessed? Yes, so this is just like an organic tahini free form paste. They have one that's sesame, but my sister said, get this one. Anyways, I just wanted to make sure you guys knew this is key in the salad, so make sure you have this before you make it. So now that we have that, we are gonna get all the other items. Hi guys, we are back home now. By home, I mean we're at Michelle and Daniel's house. <laughs> but we're back with the pups. What's up, dude? Oh yeah, you're so excited! Where's everyone? We got the other pup right here just chilling out on his spot. It's like his favorite spot, you guys. We get so many questions every day, especially on Instagram, asking if Louie and Finn are the same kind of dog, who's bigger, who's what. <laughs> so Finn, Finny, come here. Come on, dude. Finn is a toy cockapoo. He is, so he's pretty small. So he's Cocker Spaniel Poodle Mix. Yep. He's about 10 pounds. Yep. Louie is a multi poo, so he's Poodle Maltese Mix. And he's what, about 15, 18 pounds? Yeah. yeah. He's a little bit taller. He has more legs. <laughs> he's a little bit bigger. But they're like this, they look so similar. Yeah, they look so similar. They're truly like the best of friends. Yeah. Look how cute they are. <laughs> Good boys. Just hanging out. <laughs> Oh yeah, guys, we got all the good stuff here. We got all of this stuff at the grocery store. Yep, got all the stuff. I will put the recipe in the description, or probably in the comments, actually. I'll yeah. I'll put comment at the top with the recipe for this in case you guys want to make it. Totally make this vegetarian style, which the recipe that Michelle got is actually vegetarian, but we are adding, we're going to grill up some chicken. Also, you guys, while we were at the grocery store, we actually met one of you, which was really awesome. Her name is Danielle. She is yeah. the sweetest, nicest girl. In fact, she is the manager there at Harmon's. And funny enough, you guys, we actually met her on New Year's Eve. And when we came back, we saw her again. So we're like always oh, now. She's so sweet, so <laughs> nice. And Harmon's one of our favorites. Yeah. Too, so. Oh my gosh, yeah. That's pretty awesome. So now we are cooking in the kitchen by we, we mean Brit. I mean, let's face it, Brit is always the one cooking in the kitchen. She is so good at this though, you guys. We even tease about it back in Florida that we're gonna be maybe even doing a section called Baking Bread with Brit, because <laughs> that's how good she is. That's sweet of you, but honestly, you guys, I like easy recipes. So first thing I'm gonna be doing is I preheat the oven to about 400 degrees. We're gonna be roasting cauliflower. And now let me tell you, if you don't, love cauliflower. I'm telling you, you put the yummiest spices and seasonings on this, that makes it taste delicious. Guys, I will say that when I did the whole vegan diet for about eight months, I survived off of this stuff. No joke, I probably ate it three times a day, two or three times a day. Yeah, he really did. It was so good. And I'm saying, friend, <laughs> I got pre-cut 
cauliflower. You can also just buy a one big head of cauliflower and chop it up as well. Mm -hmm. But we are all about time right now, so we're gonna go ahead and make that shortcut. And then the recipe does call for chickpeas. You're gonna roast the chickpeas and the cauliflower. However, the guy behind the camera right there yep. is allergic this guy. to chickpeas. I know you guys, it's so weird, but I literally have like an allergic reaction if I eat chickpeas, like my throat like swells up, it's bad. Itchy. Yeah, and funny enough, my sister's husband, Nate, is actually allergic to chickpeas. Yeah. So she substitutes chickpeas for pork. So we're gonna be roasting Ooh. just a can of corn, one head of cauliflower, and then we're gonna put the spices on here, which will be in the description below, and then roast those up in the oven, and then I'll show you what we do next. Veggie roasting in the oven. I just chopped up some garlic for the dressing as well as some red onion. We're gonna finish it off and I'm gonna be making the dressing. So pretty much all it is is the tahini that we talked about, a little ground cumin, quite a bit of lemon, some water, and garlic. And it's, it just makes this really creamy, delicious Ooh, that's, that does sound dressing. good. I don't even think there's olive oil in it. <laughs> well. So I thought there was, but there's not. Oh, booyah. Corn USB. So, and then salt and pepper to taste. I'm gonna go ahead, just put this in a little blender. If you have a regular blender, use that. We just got up a FaceTime. I should have videoed it. We have to show my sister. She's the expert with this. Yes. Because I blended it and it was super Guys, thick. Guys, it's thick. It was like, Looks like a milkshake. Well, right now it's like way a peanut butter milkshake. Than it was. I needed to add a little extra water and some more lemon juice. It's supposed to be a subtle sesame flavor, she mm. said. From tahini, which we didn't even know this. Tahini is sesame seeds. Sesame yeah. seeds. Yeah. yeah. So it's kind of supposed to be, we just added salt and pepper to taste, some more lemon juice, but yeah, this is kind of what it looks like. So a lot of the flavor comes from the roasted veggies, Ooh. which I just stirred mine. So we have the cauliflower, it smells really good in here. With yeah, it all smells those really good. On there. Ooh, fuck so, up the camera. <laughs> so we got dressing, so don't worry if your dressing is too thick, she said just add a little more warm water and some more lemon juice to thin it out a little bit. So we're almost there, babe. You. We got to, we got some garlic butter, we're gonna toss in the oven, I'm gonna brown the chicken, and then we'll throw it all together. All right, you guys, so we just finished dinner, as you can tell, but... Good. Jerry no just good. came in. He thinks he's having an allergic reaction. Ah, good, good chicken. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we think it may be the tahini? I mean, uh, it's, it's, it's really like bumpy. Oh my gosh. Full of air. And really he says numb. his tongue is numb. It's really numb right here on my tongue. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> I can't so you feel can't feel your anything? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to look up what good to dinner. do. Yeah, so we're gonna give you probably I Benadryl. Like it's like really Maybe we need to go slime. to a doctor. I don't know no, what's going on. You think just Florida, Benadryl? Yeah. I think Benadryl, yeah. Okay, we're gonna get this guy some Benadryl <laughs> and hopefully that helps. All right, just got back. He's taking some Benadryl. He said his throat is not really closing anymore, so we're not mm. as worried. Mm -hmm. We looked it up. It said just to take Benadryl if you're having a reaction like this, so. <laughs> oh man. What are the chances that tonight would have ended like this? Oh right? my gosh, I know. Here we are. We cooked this big salad. Mm. I looked over. He was eating a lot of it too. And mm -hmm. I said, like, oh, he likes it. Yep. And. Yeah, not good for me. Not good. <laughs> We're ending with Benadryl. So mm. hopefully this takes care of it and we won't have to go to the ER or anything. Yeah. But man, <laughs> I'm sorry, babe. <laughs> little update on Jared. We got Benadryl in him. He mm -hmm. says it's working. He's starting to feel the, some of the numbness mm -hmm. going away, right? Yeah, starting to feel like tingling, kind of like after you go to the dentist. Yeah, so mm -hmm. luckily, so far, so good. We're gonna keep an eye on him, but I think we're gonna go ahead and close right. out today's video. I'm really tired from the Benadryl. Yeah, he's like <laughs> honking out, so he's not gonna edit tonight. So we're gonna go ahead, head to bed early. Thanks so much for hanging out with us today. We will see you all tomorrow. See you guys, love you.